Hi and welcome back, you're with Terry from Bonsai Tree and today I'm going to be showing you how to work with two-year-old Japanese black pine material. If you find the following content helpful, then you can thank me by clicking the thanks button just below the video. Both trees that I'm demonstrating with today have been grown by myself from seed. The seedlings were treated as cuttings and then planted into two different types of containers. This plant was developed in a cell tray with probably 40 odd plants in it. And you can see by the very low budding that the plant was grown from a cutting. This plant was developed slightly differently and was planted in, I believe, a container that's usually used to develop trees. Inside the container you will soon see as I repot it that it was filled predominantly with a very coarse stone and you will soon understand the significance or importance of that. It's obvious that the pine's roots have now extended to the full depth of the container. In fact, the white tips of the roots are an indication that the tree is active and it is a good idea to now continue with the repotting process. Another good indication of whether the tree is active is the extension or the swelling of the buds, the spring buds which will turn into spring candles. So next let's talk about container choices. Plastic colanders in a variety of shapes and sizes as well as air pots are very popular these days. The concept behind the use of air pots or colanders is that air essentially prunes the roots as they get to the wall of the container. This air pruning produces a lot of new roots. To make the most of the colanders you also need to use a very fast draining growing medium which means that it is going to dry out relatively quickly which does mean that you're going to have to water more frequently but this allows you to fertilize much more aggressively because you can fertilize every time you water. Some people are worried about the size of the holes in these colanders, the one that I'm currently showing you but in fact once the growing media is placed in the container it does tend to become a lot more solid or st stable and won't actually wash out very easily from those holes. I'm personally a fan of air pots, uh, an example of one which I'm holding right now, as they are quite robust in their construction. These vacuum formed plastic containers are a much cheaper option and obviously will hold a lot less soil. If your intention is to grow smaller bonsai trees from the pines, then these containers would be ideal because the growth will be a lot more restrained. I'm a very big fan of ceramic containers for the development of bonsai trees in general. Ceramic containers are available in a variety of shapes and sizes as well. This is a Deroma standard container that I'm holding. It doesn't have a, any holes for connecting with wire, so those will have to be drilled if you want to put those in. However, the Muruku Japanese pots that we import uh, do come with uh, wire fasten or tie down holes and I prefer the thermal uh, characteristics of the Maruku pots to the Doroma pots. They are fired at a much higher temperature and will also never develop algae on the outside of the container wall. The Maruku containers also have a better ratio between the depth and width, which is more similar to a bonsai container. And finally, let's talk briefly about your choice of growing medium. On your left, I'm showing you what we call professional mix, and this is essentially a 70 to 80% crushed leaker with a long fibered peat. I would propose this as a very all round and economical growing medium to use. This next mix is a combination of akadama, pumice, and lava stone, uh, all in the small particle size, all in equal portions. This mix is the more expensive of the two options that I'm showing you. However, in my experience, it does produce the best roots and therefore the best growth. After you've chosen your container and prepared sufficient growing medium, the next step will be to actually uh, re remove the old soil and then to trim off the excess roots. Focus should be paid to the very strong roots. Those should be shortened the most and the finer roots should be kept. Roots which are coiled around should be tidied up. To make it easier to apply wire, I roughly cut the needles in half and I also remove the additional buds so that I only have one remaining which I will allow to develop. 
it's very important at this very early phase of the, the tree's development to apply some wire so that you can put some bends in to the trunk, particularly in the lower part. Two to three millimeter aluminum wire should be perfect for the task. If you applied the wire in a clockwise direction, then you should bend and twist the tree in the same direction. The bend might seem slightly exaggerated at this stage, but the trunk is going to fatten up and then you're going to be very happy that you did put in these bends at this young age because it's almost impossible to do it at a later age. Because I want to grow a shohin sized pine with this tree, I'm going to be using this smaller plastic container. I'm also going to be using the professional growing medium with a little bit of added crushed stone. Slightly mound the soil and position the tree on top of that mound taking care to splay the roots out in a radially as best you can. Using a chopstick or similar implement, work more soil in between the roots just to ensure that there are no air pockets or any voids. Then add more growing medium, making sure to properly cover all of the roots. Using your fingers, you can then further compact the soil down onto the tree. Moving on to the second tree, let's repot this one. As you can see, the majority of the medium inside the container is actually very coarse crushed stone, and this is to produce a more interesting root system. Now what you're going to find once you've exposed the roots of this tree is that you will have a very much longer root system to work with. The benefit of this is that you can actually develop this tree from this point onwards, either as an exposed root or Niagari style, or alternatively root over rock, or even as a cascade style, if you have a single dominant root that you can reduce the root system down to. I've decided that I'm going to develop this tree as a root over rock. Of course, you need a nice rock to use for root over rock style, so something that has a lot of crevices in it. Now I'm going to disentangle the roots. Don't forget to apply some wire Probably a three millimeter wire would be better suited for this thickness of trunk. And it's better to apply the wire now than after. I'm using a piece of elephant skin stone because it has a very nice texture, not the most ideal color but it is great for doing root over rocks with and now I'm trying to find the best looking front or the most interesting angle of the stone. Next you're going to distribute the root system over the different crevices that you have in the stone. Now you need to secure the tree onto the stone and I'm going to be using parafilm. I like using parafilm because the tape is actually breathable and it perishes, so there's no chance that there's going to be any damage or biting in of, for instance, if you were using wire into the roots. What I also like about the parafilm is that as you're going to be exposing some of the roots, some of them will be above the ground, the parafilm keeps the moisture in the roots and prevents them from drying out and dying. With the tree nicely secured, I'm now going to put some bends into the trunk. As I want to grow this into a larger bonsai tree, I'm going to be using the large colander. After folding the roots under the rock, Plant the rock onto a mound of growing media in the colander. If you found that content helpful and you'd like to thank me for it, please do so now by clicking the thanks button just below the video. That brings me to the end of today's video. The material I used in this video was grown by myself 
and is available from our web store. If for whatever reason you're not able to order from us, of course you can grow the same material yourself. I only depicted two projects that you can embark on with the material, but of course your imagination is the only limitation.